Hello, everybody. I am back. So I'm going to attempt to make a egg pudding. This, the original recipe was by um, Maria Emmerich. First, I want to say, you know what, before I jump into this, what's up, my peoples? I hope y'all been doing well. I just been trying to get back into the swing of things, but I hope everybody is doing well and um, having a great week. So I'm attempting Maria Emmerich's egg pudding, but a little different. So a lot of people, she does it with um, boiled eggs. Some people say it has like a farty, you know, that farty egg smell for like um, a couple of hours or a day when you first make it, but with the scrambled eggs, it doesn't smell. So I used seven eggs. These are the eggs that I use. You can use whatever you have. Um, they also make it with uh, almond milk. I didn't want to use any almond milk because I really don't use milk. So I had some heavy whipping cream, but you can use water, coconut milk, almond milk, you know, whatever you want. So I do have some um, heavy cream right here. I did buy some coconut milk just in case. Um, so because I only used um, seven eggs, uh, I'm just using a little bit over a cup maybe like a cup and one fourth of the heavy whipping cream with water, mixed with water. First, I started off by putting my eggs in the blender because it just whips it up very well. Um, then I cooked the eggs slowly over like a low medium heat and just added more mix little by little and just let it cook. You don't wanna cook it to where it's hard. You want it to still be soft, but not runny. So that's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, these eggs back to the blender and then add all of my other ingredients, which is, um, I'm gonna add, I think I might add my collagen. Um, and I forgot to tell you the biggest part. I'm making it with keto chow, um, banana. With keto chow, you can use this so many different ways. People bake with it. They make pudding with it. You can use it as a shake. They um, make gummy bears with it. I mean, it's so many ways that you can use this and it's a very clean uh, product. It's also a meal replacement as well, but you can use it so many different ways. So I'm making banana pudding. So I'm gonna put a little of this Turani uh, syrup in there, maybe like one or two teaspoons. I'm going to put uh, my collagen in here. This is vanilla. And depending on how it tastes, I might just put some of my monk fruit in here. So I'm going to taste as I go along. So let me do that. So this is the pudding. I want to say it came out the perfect it, um, the perfect consistency. Um, it tastes good. I did put another teaspoon of the monk fruit in it, but it really didn't need it. But um, I've got these two containers. And I'm going to... Um, Pour this, pour this in the two containers. So I'm gonna pour this in the containers. I just wanted to set this up so y'all could kind of see what the um, consistency is. Hopefully you can see it. They got this little flap up. She is pourable. And then this is the other container. So it, it, once I set it in the refrigerator, it will thicken up some. I'm just hoping that it will stay the pudding consistency and I don't have to, um, because it is made with heavy whipping cream and heavy whipping cream is a thickener. So, and this has a thickener in it. So I'm hoping that it stays pourable, kind of like but um yeah that's my um this is a banana pudding so i'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and uh we're gonna see how what it do what it do i probably leave one out just to eat to break my fast with later and then put one in the refrigerator so we'll see how it turns out overall peace so I am back and I just want to let y'all know it came out 
perfect. All I had to do was mix it up. And as you can see, it's still pourable, but it's still thick. Um, let's see how it tastes. Delicious. 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 That's all I can say. I found me a new way to make some pudding. I wrote down the macros for this because I split it into two. Um, I did do a recipe in it on card manager. So each, I'm just going to say each. I didn't measure it out, but again, I split it into two. So I'm going to say each, you know, this one serving is 644 calories. Total carbs is 12 grams. If you do net, it's 4 grams. Um, net carbs, 12 total. Fat is 49 grams and protein is 39 grams. So you can actually do this as a meal. Um, and then go in later, like to break your fast, so you can do this. And then you could go in later with your main meal, which I'm having... Um, a steak, a ribeye, a steak from um, from um, Whole uh, Whole Foods. So this is their prime boneless ribeye steak. They have several steaks at. Um, not to take it off task because we was talking about the keto child banana pudding, but they had several steaks for um, at Whole Foods. And I asked them the difference between their prime, their regular, their um, aged or whatever. And they said the prime was the top. So I bought a, the prime and then I bought a regular bone in. Just, just to see if I could tell the difference between the two. Because of course the prime is more expensive than it's the aged and then it's the regular um, prime rib. So I wanted to see if... Um, it was a difference <laughs> in taste. <laughs> so this is going to be my dinner for tonight. As you can see, it's just a little bit over a pound, which is good for me. Y'all know I do carnivore, ketovore. I'm more meat heavy. I may do vegetables sometimes. So I'm going to have this to break my fast. And then in the, about an hour or two, um, I will go in and fix my um, ribeye steak. I'm going to season it now and just put it back in the refrigerator and let it marinate. So there you have it. Um, egg pudding. Um, again, Keto Chow is a, a meal replacement. Um, it is a protein, a milk protein based. Um, it's delicious. They have so many flavors. I will put their uh, website in the um, description box or either in the comments, but um, unless you have like a milk, a dairy allergy or something, you cannot go wrong with Keto Chow um, shakes. I've been ordering them ever since I believe February, in the January, February, um, because I wasn't really eating. I had lost my appetite for whatever reason. And um, I knew I needed to get something. And they popped up in my feed. Uh, the owner, Chris, he did a 100-day uh, keto chow challenge to see if he would lose weight. He checked his blood work and all of that stuff before and after. You can go on their website and read it. But clean ingredients very lovely couple husband and wife business small business out of utah um and um i can't say enough about it um you know if you like meal replacement shakes if you have kids who are funny with eating if you have a um an uh senior citizen mom dad aunt uncle instead of giving them that insure and all of that stuff give them keto chow um, clean ingredients. That's all I can say. So until next time, peace. 
I just wanted to come back and do a quick video and tell y'all about these lollies cookie clusters. I found out about them some time ago, but I'm impatient and I don't like to wait. But with them, they make everything fresh. So you have to wait about a week or two so they can make it and ship it out to you. They was having a really good sale for uh, $6.99 a bag. They're normally $11.99 a bag, I believe. And so I wanted to give them a try. So I bought the peanut butter macadamia and the German chocolate. I bought two German chocolates because I do like German chocolate. As of right now, I'm not getting much chocolate, but I keep trying it. But this peanut butter macadamia is bussing. So they come in clusters like this. Some are bigger than others and some are smaller. I'm going to put the, the broken up pieces in my pudding. This is the German chocolate. Uh, right here and they come in all different sizes you can eat them by itself or you can mix them in your puddings ice cream or whatever because they're cookie clusters um, their ingredients are clean keto friendly um, unless you're allergic to like nuts and stuff like that then you may have to um, forego it but people use it as like granola and stuff like that so as you can see the ingredients are really good so I just wanted to come in and give y'all that um, I have like an ounce of um, that I'm going to put in my pudding so yeah just wanted to come back in and let y'all know that Toodles. okay so it is dinner time this is the prime um, ribeye steak <coughs> excuse me from Whole Foods it's a one pound uh, steak as you can see, I seasoned it with Redmond's Real um, Salt, their smoked chef's blend. Uh, they put these on sale a couple of months ago, and I grabbed uh, three bags. Um, I grabbed the chef's blend, the hickory, and the cherry. I haven't opened this yet, but um, the hickory, oh my gosh, that stuff is so strong. I don't know where they get their hickory wood from, but I've never smelled like my husband used hickory wood chips when he smoked but my gosh the hickory in this is strong like when you use and wash your hands you still smell the hickory on your fingers but they basically use their pink salt and then they smoke it they make a big batch you know handmade and they smoke it so that's why i got three because they said the last time it came out i think it was like over a year ago and they sold out within the day. But if I had to go back and do it, I would get two of the Chef Blend and one Hickory. Um, I think the Hickory would be good for like when you barbecuing out, um, when you barbecue, you know, on your grill or whatever. But it's still good. But I find myself using the Chef's Blend because it does have the Hickory in it. I'm not sure what all the blends are that's in this but um this is what i use to really season all my meat i hardly ever use the regular pink salt anymore so let's see is this it yeah i'm not sure what the blends are maybe it's all three of them together I'm not sure what, what the blends are, what the chef blends are. I'm not seeing it on there. And I don't want to be sitting here all day looking at it. But this is my steak. It's a one-pound steak is what I'm having for dinner. Um, when it comes to the pudding. So when it comes to the pudding, this is all I have left. And um, I'm trying to just eat that down. I think in the future, I would cut these in half. I wouldn't eat a whole one because one um, is just a lot to kind of like for me to stomach i'm still kind of hungry that's why i came down here to put my steak in i wasn't gonna put it in until about 8 30 and i was going to eat my dinner while watching the news but i want to i want something to chew I'm, i want food um and this is not going to cut it and um also again i'm still kind of i'm still hungry i want to eat um so um, I think next time, you know, I eat it, if I'm breaking my fast, I will weigh it out, you know, maybe do like a fourth of a cup or a half a cup, something like that, where I weigh it out and I'll get four. I could split this, you know, the two containers in the four 
opposed to one serving per container. Um, but yeah, um, it came out pretty good. Um, I'm, I must admit it came out pretty good. So um, this is something that I probably will continue to make, um, you know, when I want something other than uh, a shake, you know, just to drink it as a shake. So with that being said, um, I'm out of here and I'll show y'all my steak when it's done.